was asked recently um, in an interview relating to this program, sort of for the promotion of this program, um, whether there really is a heroin epidemic or an um, opioid epidemic in this country and in the state, um, or whether this is just a lot of media hype. I have colleagues and friends, um, many of them who are professional, successful people, who are currently living the nightmare of dealing with heroin-addicted children. There are people right now in this room, I know, who have lost friends, family members, and children as a result of addiction to uh, heroin or other opiates. There are people in this room tonight who I know love someone who is currently struggling with addiction. And I know that there are people in this room tonight, um, lots of them, gratifyingly, who are in recovery. And to all of those people, I want to say congratulations. Um, I've, if there's anything I've learned over the past few years, um, achieving and maintaining recovery from this disease is not an easy thing. And all of you who are in recovery, you know that you're an inspiration to others and you give hope to others who are struggling right now with this disease. Why do we have a heroin or opioid epidemic? I mean, what is driving us? <coughs> well, certainly access to pharmaceuticals, in my opinion, is the biggest thing that's driving um, our opioid epidemic. And I, I'm very cautious to say, in fact, I, and, and forgive me, um, I don't think we have a, hope, a heroin epidemic, okay? I know that we're all here and we hear these stories and people are shooting heroin and that's really bad. Um, and people are dying, people, you know, go into rehab and they come out and four days later they shoot up and they're dead. And, and I would strongly um, assert to all of you, we have a prescription drug problem that morphs into a heroin problem. If we can control the prescription drugs in our communities, and they've done this in Florida, then we, can, we will see a reduction in heroin use, okay? The other thing about not attributing um, causality in this, when we say we have a heroin problem, is it's very stigmatized, and it doesn't give accountability where accountability is due. Four out of five heroin users start with a prescription drug, all right? I think someone said in the movie, and, and no one wakes up and says, I'm going to shoot heroin today, all right? But people do wake up and get injuries or go get their teeth extracted and get that Norco prescription and get that addiction rolling, and it's a progression. And so um, part of the reason why we have a prescription, a heroin problem is because we have a prescription drug problem, and that started really back in the 1990s, all right? And very quickly, I'm going to just, I mean, we do day-long seminars on this, but in, in 1990s.